is Pam with Organizer AZ911 and I wanted to share with you in this video an experience I'm having currently. I have been working with the most amazing couple in the past week and a half that have really embraced the organizing process. That if you don't love it, if you don't need it, if you don't use it, get rid of it. Now this uh, client is currently in the process of getting ready to move and they are actually downsizing from a very large home to about a home that's half the size. And when I started working with them I was explaining to them that it is simple physics when it comes to downsizing. If you are downsizing the size of your house by 50 percent, 50 percent of your items need to go. Uh, to make it a smooth transition. Otherwise your new home is going to be overflowing and you're going to be stressed and it's going to be cluttered. And I got to tell you this amazing family, they have embraced it like I have never seen before. And I wanted to share this with you so you can see the difference. We have been going, now this house is impeccable. Oh my gosh, it is the most gorgeous home. But the closets over a 10 year time, like with any family, we kind of build stuff up. You know, you put stuff away and you, you just kind of store it here for now because you're too busy to really take the time to make the decisions needed. And over 10 years, it just builds up. So the closets were really kind of full, much too full for them to take to their new home that is going to be half the size. So um, what we have done is we're starting to go through their house closet by closet. And the first one, we started on a downstairs closet and they um, literally just used it kind of like a storage thing for all their memorabilia and, and things. It just kind of became a catch-all because they were never down in that area. It was in the downstairs and they were never downstairs that much. Uh, so they just kind of used it as a storage room over the years and it built up. And so we went in and we pulled everything out of that. Literally every item came out of that closet and we put it in piles, like piles, like items in different sections of the floor so they could go through and see what they truly loved, what they truly needed and what they truly used. And it was amazing the amount that they let go of. I've literally, every time I've left their home, I've left with a trunk full of donations and an inst the back seat of my car is filled to the top with donations. And they have had like eight to 10 bags of garbage every time too. So we finished up that closet downstairs and then we moved to another closet upstairs, what they called the ski closet because it, it kind of housed a lot of different things, but it was a lot of activity wear. Um, outside wear, skis, um, it handled cleaning supplies, it handled all the overflow of linens over the years that we just kind of add to when we find a new bedding set and we just didn't get rid of the old. So we worked on that one next and again bags and bags were taken out for donation and uh, other bags were taken to the trash, things that weren't really in good enough condition anymore to donate somewhere. And then this week we have started on the pantry and the laundry room and the same process started. Uh, the homeowner, they are just so incredible, I can't stress it enough. They've embraced this process, they want the success and after emptying out things with the pantry and the laundry room, oh my gosh, the amount that was donated was staggering and the amount that was thrown out was also staggering. And I actually took a video that I wanted to share with you. Check out these bins and bins and bins of donations. Look at that, they're overflowing all the way around this corner. And then on the right there, all those bags are garbage. Look at that. And here's 11 more bags of garbage in addition. Isn't that amazing, all that they donated and tossed? The rooms feel lighter. They've even said that, that it feels so much lighter and freer in the home after letting all that stuff go. And they know that all their items are going to a good cause. And then all the garbage they got rid of too. Just truly amazing. So my takeaway for this video is if you really truly want to get organized, embrace the three rules to help you declutter. And that is only keep what you absolutely love, you absolutely need, and you absolutely use. Everything else is just 
clutter. Let it go and you can feel how much lighter things feel in your home and it'll be so much easier to get around and your stress will go down. It's not that hard, you just have to embrace the process. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up, poke that like button below, and if you're new to my channel, please poke that subscribe button as well and ring the bell so that you know when I upload a new video. I'm Pam with Organizer AZ 911. Thanks for watching.